we're going to go over four different ways to multiply. We're going to multiply with these numbers, 43 times 65. The first way is the traditional way. And this is the way that we were taught when we were kids. So we have 43 times 65. We start with the number in the ones place on the bottom. We multiply three times five, which gives us 15. And the number on top, we add after we're finished multiplying. Then we start from the ones place again on the bottom and multiply the next number. Four times five is 20. Then we add this one and we have 21. After we're done with that, we cross out this five because we no longer have numbers on top that we have to multiply it by and we're finished with this first line. So then we're multiplying this six by this three after we put our placeholder. Um, six times three is 18. We put the eight on the bottom and we're no longer using that one. We are adding the one from the 18. And we have 6 times 4, which is 24. We add that 1, which is 25. And we're done multiplying. Now we have to add. 5 plus 0 is 5. 1 plus 8 is 9. 2 plus 5 is 7. And 2 plus nothing is 2. So 2,795 is our answer. Okay, so that's the traditional way, parents, of how we do multiplication, how we were taught. But nowadays, our kids are learning different ways of multiplying, so we're just trying to figure out how can we better support the teachers. So... Miss Olivia, our fourth grade teacher, is going to be so kind to show us another way of multiplying that our kids are learning. Okay, so another way, the second way we can do this is the area model way. area model way of multiplying. So we have 43 times 65. The first thing we're going to do is write each number in expanded form around an array. So the first factor has two digits, so we're going to have two columns in our array, one column for each digit. The second factor has two digits, so we're going to have two rows in our array, one for each factor in our uh, each digit in our factor. So um, the first number is going to be 40 plus 3 because 43 written in expanded form is 40 plus 3. The second number is going to be 60 plus 5 because 65 written in expanded form is 60 plus 5. Then we're going to multiply and put our products in each of these boxes. So we have um, 60 times 40, and if you don't know what 60 times 40 is, you have the 6 and the 4. 6 times 4 is 24, and you just add on those two zeros, so two zeros, 2400. Then in this box, you have 3 times 60. If you don't know what that is, you have 3 times 6, which is 18, and then you have one extra zero here, so you add that on. And in this box, you're going to have 40 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. And you have an extra 0 here, so you add that on. And in this box, you're going to have 5 times 3, which is 15. When you're finished with that, you're going to add up all these numbers. So on this side, we're going to have 2400 plus 200 plus 180 plus 15. And just like regular addition, you start from the ones place and you have five right here. And then the tens place gives you nine, 
the hundreds place. Four plus two is six, plus one is seven. And then the thousands place, you have two. And the answer is 2,795. Wow, I would have never guessed that from all of those boxes. So I'm pretty sure our parents are gonna be pretty happy to see this. I know you have another, like at least two more ways that you can show us how to multiply. So do you mind showing us the third way? No, not at all. The third way that we multiply is the lattice way or the lattice method. The kids find this to be, they think this is the most fun, um, but it's also very different. <laughs> the lattice method. So um, we have 43 times 65. Um, we're going to draw an array again. And um, the number of digits in our first factor determines the columns. The number of digits in our second factor determines the rows. So we have two columns and two rows. So two columns, four and three, and two rows. I'm going to write it on this side because of the way the lattice method is set up. So six and five. After we draw our array, we're going to split our boxes in a diagonal fashion from right to left. Right to left, right to left, and right to left. I extended my lines so that when I include my answer, I will have a place to put them. Also, the arrow helps me read my number when I'm finished. Now I'm going to multiply. Um, just like the area model method, I'm going to multiply the numbers on the side by the, the numbers on the top. Um, 6 times 3 gives me 18. I put my 10's place on top and my 1's place on the bottom. So 1 and then 8. 6 times 4 gives me 24. I put my 10's place on the bottom and my 1's place on top. On the, I'm sorry, 10's place on top, 1's place on the bottom. 5 times 3 gives me 15. One place on top, um, ten place on top, one place on the bottom. Um, five times four gives me twenty. Now the second step is to add. So I'm going to add my diagonals. So in this first diagonal here, I have just five, five plus nothing else, which is five. These numbers on the outside, I'm going to ignore those because I only use those to add or to multiply first. Um, my next diagonal is 8 plus 1 plus 0, which gives me 9. And I put my answer there. Then my next diagonal, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 2 more is 7. And then my last diagonal, I have just 2. And that's my answer. So I have 2,795, 2,795. Now parents, I know you have seen your kids do this at home because I've watched my son do this and I didn't know what all the boxes were for and all the lines, but that makes so much more sense. And now I feel even more empowered when he's doing homework that I can help him and actually understand what he's doing at the same time. Okay, what's your last method? So, the last method is um, partial products, and we usually do partial products with uh, larger numbers by a single digit number because um, multiple digits will might get a little confusing, but we can do partial products with this. So the fourth method is partial products. So the first thing you have to do is write out your factors in expanded form and multiply each part of the factor by the other. So we have 40 plus 3 and we're multiplying that by 60 plus 5. And I know this looks familiar because <laughs> they're going to be learning this in fifth grade. But the first thing you're going to do is multiply this 40 
by 60 and 5. So 40 times 60 and then 40 times 5. 40 times 60, 4 times 6 is 24, and you add on your two zeros. 24 and then two zeros. 4 times 5 is 20, and then you add on your zero. 20. Then you're going to multiply your other factor by the factors in the second number. So you have 3 times 60 and 3 times 5. Then you're going to add them all together. 3 times 6 is 18, and you add another 0. 3 times 5 is 15. And then you add them all up together. In the 1's place, you have a 5. In the 10's place, you have 8 plus 1, which is 9. Then the 100's place, 4 plus 2 is a 6, plus 1 is 7. And then the 1,000's place, you have a so the answer to that is also 2,795. Wow. Thank you so much, Miss Olivia. Parents, I know we did not know we can get the same number four different ways when we were in school. So this is going to help us so much when we're doing homework with our kids. I really appreciate all the help that Miss Olivia has given us. And parents, I encourage you. I implore you to sit with your kids, go over the math work with them, help them out, encourage them, and let them know that, hey, I'm learning this for the first time too. So they can kind of show you and teach you a little something new. So thank you so much, Miss Olivia. You've been a wonderful help. Bye, Westside parents.